My name is Joel Curtis, and this orchard was established over a decade ago as a research orchard. My background primarily is agriculture. Um, I have, I've, my major is entomology. I have a minor in chemistry and horticulture. Now, understand that this is the only type of orchard like this in the world. We are sp specifically designing equipment that will harvest these. There's no such thing as oleander equipment. You just don't go down to your local implement dealer and say, show me your best oleander equipment. It's not there. We're primarily after the leaves. And that's the reason why we, we do not want any irrigation water. We do not want any type of chemicals, nothing on the leaves. Uh, so it is a very uh, specialized approach. Uh, it's extremely laborious and it's very, very expensive. No one has ever attempted to put in an orchard like this, and they still haven't. It's not that easy to get involved in this industry. Uh, it's very complex. There's a lot of science that goes into it. Science not only starting at the field itself, but all the way through the processing as well as to the end user. So it's an extremely complex, uh, dynamic approach. If someone wanted to come in and start this from scratch, they better have deep pockets. Every time I walk through this field, every time that we water it, I ride through it, I just always wonder in the future, how many lives are we going to touch with my crop? That's an incredible feeling. The potential of what this plant can do in the future is incredible. The research scientists from the different universities have been out here and understanding what they're trying to achieve and where they are today, there is no question in my mind that this field is much more than a field of dreams. It's truly a field of life.